We'll see you soon, baby Wiley. My heart is like pounding out of my chest right now. Oh my god. Oh my god. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh man. Oh my god. Well, it's chilled in. <laughs> it literally says, boy, oh boy. So here's our room. It's pretty small. So there's the bed. There's a chair for Rusty. Um, and then just some storage space. And then I guess baby can go here. But there's also this over here. So pretty small room, but that's what we're looking at. Um, and I am going to get changed into my gown. So we're all hooked up. I have an IV. And right now we're just monitoring his heart rate and I guess checking to see if I'm contracting, which I think I am, so. Okay guys, so just an update. It is 10, 10, 10.12 right now in the morning. Um, we came in after midnight and got hooked up um, and then got my first dose of um, medication to help soften my cervix. And well, baby Wiley apparently did not like that. Um, he was having some, what do they call it? It was a decreasing heart, I don't know. I think his heart rate was like decreasing every time I was contracting, which could have just been, you know, you know, she, the, the nurse said that it could have just been like the umbilical cord might, might be under his arm and whenever I was contracting, it was squeezing, which was slowing his heart rate down. So... They just been kind of monitoring me for a while now. Um, I still haven't really progressed any, but I'm definitely having contractions more frequently. Um, not painful or anything, but I can definitely tell that they're happening. Um, I actually had just gotten up for a few minutes and um, had gone to the restroom and there was some 
you know, TMI, if you don't want to hear this, but, um, there was some, a little bit of blood, and then when I came out, some blood kind of, um, dripped out a little bit, and so I called the nurse, and then, um, basically she said it's the bloody show, um, which just means my cervix is changing, um, which is good, because that's what we want, and we went ahead in that direction of it changing, so, um, right now, still just monitoring me, and then the nurse said she'll be back in here soon, and we're going to try another dose of the cervical softening medication again, so that's where we're at, and we're just, we're just here. It has been a while since I have done an update. Um, sorry if the camera's a little shaky. I've had my epidural, so <laughs> I am definitely having the shakes. Um, today has been a day. Um, we weren't really progressing as quickly as we thought we were um, going to. So basically at... I don't even know what time it was, but uh, I ended up getting the Foley bulb put in. Um, which helped dilate me to a three um, and then I got up from that and um, basically ever since we got checked in and everything uh, the baby's been having a lot of uh, decreased heart rate um, well, with the monitoring and everything so um, they've been keeping a really close eye on that um, and everything so that's kind of what the day's been like it's just been a whole lot of me flipping back and forth trying to get good position for him to have good heart rate and everything like that so um, that happened um, they gave me an injection to help um, my muscles relax because I was literally having contractions every one to two minutes um, but I wasn't dilating so I was just constantly back to back having contractions just no dilation so they gave me um, a muscle relaxer to help with that which helped and slowed them down and then kind of came back and then um i started having like a really sharp back pain in my left on my left side and at that point i called the nurse in i got up used the restroom um, you know, sat down and just, I was just constantly, that pain just wasn't going away. So basically the contractions were back again where it was every one to two minutes, but I wasn't dilating. Um, they did check me at one point and they had me at like three to four. Um, and at that point, um, you know, we, um, we kind of talked to my doctor to decide what we wanted to do and everything like that so i decided to go ahead and get an epidural so that way i could get a good night's sleep and um we were going to start first thing in the morning with pitocin um to get my contractions started um and everything like that um but that was our plan and so we finally got the anesthesiologist in here and I was I got my epidural in and right after the epidural um, the nurse was having a hard time um, getting him to cooperate and have good you know heart rate he just kept having declining heart rate um, and so at that point they called in a bunch of other nurses and it all happened really fast but basically um, they came in, they, um, actually broke my water, uh, and then they put a vaginal sensor in on the top of his scalp to be able to monitor him, uh, his heart rate closer and better. Um, so that's kind of where we're at now. Um, it was all very fast and it was just crazy. Um, so... We are feeling good now. I'm numb. Baby Wiley is doing great. His heart rate is great. His oxygen levels are great. Um, and at this point, I can't believe we thought about going home. 
because we weren't progressing and now I'm at a four and my water's broke and at this point we are just um, waiting and I'm gonna try to get some sleep now it is now 10 10 actually almost 10 10 um, on Monday the 28th um, so hopefully I can get a few hours of sleep and then um, we'll see how far Wiley progresses over the next couple hours or you know overnight and we'll more than likely hopefully have a baby tomorrow so that's where we're at and I'm just gonna go ahead and get some sleep while I can and uh, I'll keep you guys posted good morning guys it is currently 6.05 a.m. on December 29th um, they just came in and checked me and I am 10 centimeters dilated so we will probably be having baby boy here before we know it um, I think the nurse just went to go let my doctor know and we'll kind of go from there so um, I'm excited <laughs> Right Let's now. take a deep breath in. Big breath. Hold the air in your lungs. Hold Put your chin in. on your chest and push like you have to poop. Push hard. Push one, two, three, four. Give me more, more, more. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let that breath out. Deep breath. Go right back at it and push hard like you have to poop. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, eight nine, good job. ten. Beautiful. Let that out. Deep breath. Right We're going to do it again and push one, there two, you go. Push, push, three, push. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Beautiful. Good job. Good job. just wanted to hop on real quick and let you guys know that it has been a few weeks since giving birth to Wiley. Um, I never got around to actually ending the vlog um, just because of how crazy everything was. Um, you know, being a new, new, new mom, um, first time mom, uh, having major abdominal surgery and everything, you know, just everything that happened with that. Um, I was not able to actually you know, really end the vlog for the birth um, and everything like that. Uh, so I just wanted to go ahead and end it here. Um, we will go ahead and do another video, um, you know, next uh, about the birth and like my labor and delivery. Um, I'll just sit down and kind of talk about that and everything um, just because a lot happened. Um, we were there for a week. Um, and just, it was crazy. And with the pandemic going on still, it really made things even crazier just because we weren't able to have family come in and visit us or friends and stuff like that. Um, so stay tuned for that vlog next after this one. And um, we will go ahead and, you know, end it here and we'll see you guys in the next one.